Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm missing. Fine, I'm yes. missing classmate teacher. Yeah, I miss the classes too. I miss to see you. Oh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Because, and, yes. Sorry. And continue, teacher. No worry. No, I was kind of worried because Zoom got frozen and it wasn't working. And it says Zoom is not responding. And then it was like connecting, connecting, connecting. Oh, and oh, I know. Oh my God. Shouldn't be Monday. <laughs> okay. And how was your vacation? So good, teacher. Days working and another to rest. Okay. Did you do anything interesting? Yes, a lot of housework in my car in my house. <laughs> a lot of housework. Okay, that's nice. Did you cook something special, or did somebody at home no. did it? No, teacher. For example, clean my roof. For example, yeah, and um, painting my house, and help my wife to uh, clean your kitchen for example is, is tired to 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 clean the kitchen wow wow it's tight it's so tight teacher okay nice that you get that experience and that uh, you realize how, how yeah. hard is the housework <laughs> even to even to uh wash my clothes wow okay I understand the girls is uh so hard work teacher yes i think that is um it uh the household church is heavier than a regular job <laughs> yeah and i try cooking some days nice what about the rest of you how was your vacation Hi, Miss. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. <laughs> My vacation was so tired because uh, I have a, a family business, and these days are the <laughs> um, los más movidos. Wow! It's high season for you. Yes. Extra money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm so so. <laughs> uh, the people uh, don't. The people. La gente prefiere irse lejos, quizá. Yeah. Uh, so so tired. Yeah. All right, but you were making money, and some other people was spending yeah. their money. <laughs> <laughs> now they are broken. Yes. <laughs> no. What about what about you, teacher? Went to the beach. Mm, I don't like uh, going out on vacations because yeah. I hate. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. I hate crowded places, and I know that wherever you go on vacation, it's gonna be crowded. So oh, I'd sad. rather go out before vacation or after vacation. Yes, with my family, and we we hacemos we make the, uh, the same. Oh, you do the same. Yes. Yes. Uh, we hate the crowd the place. Yeah, so I, I went to the dentist the first Saturday. I see the previous Saturday, yeah. And um, it was so crowded in La Gran yeah. Via. Oh my, my God. God. <laughs> I said, what's Terrible. going on yeah. here? Yes, and then, then I was checking the news and I said, ah, oh, the new... Uh, Delta, it's in the yeah. corner. Oh my, oh my god, god. I don't know. <laughs> so I just um got my check with the dentist and then I got home and that that was all that I did. And then I was just yes, painting the house. I bought some furniture online, but yeah, I, I didn't go out. Matter, yeah, uh, yes, and I'm gonna have my year vacations on October, so 
Maybe, maybe I, I can go out. 50 days. <laughs> yeah, maybe. 15 days. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if you if we don't get um, in another lockdown again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, did somebody cook something special? I like cooking. No, you didn't cook. Nobody cook. Um, uh, uh, season food, for example, uh, tamales de lote. Oh, delicious. <laughs> yeah, with atoll. Oh. How do you say atoll? Atoll. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's like yes. a traditional. Yes. Um, yeah, okay, that's interesting. Um, I see that some of you were working in the platform, but I didn't hear of you on vacation. But that's okay that you enjoyed your free time. <laughs> Yeah. But I hope that you have finished the platform or at least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Uh, yes. So did you remember the last topic that we studied before going um, on vacation? Do you remember that we were studying? Nobody remembers. No, teacher, I don't. <laughs> Right no, now, my hamster, my, 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 yeah. the hamster is sleeping. <laughs> yeah, hamster is running. Okay, yeah, we were discussing um, um, how to make uh, comparatives and superlatives using adjectives. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that was the last topic that we studied before going on this amazing holidays. Now I remember. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, I, I remember. Yes, we practiced yes. this conversation that says which is larger, right? Uh, talking about uh, they were making comparisons and, and sometimes they were using comparatives. Uh, we studied some rules about how to make comparisons with adjectives. Um, so we said that we are going to add er and then after the adjective to make comparisons with adjectives with one syllable. Uh, for example, if we say cold, the comparative is a colder than. And we got the example in Canada, winter is colder than summer. Nice, nicer than. Chocolate ice cream is nicer than strawberry ice cream. Now, with adjectives with two or more syllables, we are going to add more before the adjective. For example, we have the adjective boring. It's two syllables, boring. So in this case, aquí ya no vamos a agregar la er, no sino que antes de la adjective vamos a poner more. More, luego el adjective tal cual, more boring, y luego el dan, more boring than, con activos de dos o más sílabos. Eh, si es de dos sílabas y terminan en y, dijimos que cambiamos la y por y latina y agregamos er y luego dan. Por ejemplo, early. Early termina en Y, early. It's two syllables, early. En este caso cambiamos la Y por I latina y agregamos ER y luego dan. Earlier than, and we have an example here. He arrived at the school earlier than I did. And we got another example with happy, happier than. John looks happier than David. Uh, luego decíamos que si terminan en, en una vocal y consonante y lleva estrés, big, hot. En este caso vamos a duplicar la última consonante, agregar er y luego dan. Por ejemplo, big, bigger than, hot, hotter than. Y tenemos un par de ejemplos ahí. Russia is bigger than Canada. In my country, August is hotter than January. Now, there are some irregular, hay unos um, 
irregulares que no siguen esta regla de póngale ER, sino que ellos cambian totalmente. Por ejemplo, para hacer un comparativo usando good, va a cambiar a better. Bad cambia a worse. Y far, que es cambia a farther. Right? Ahí donde estaba. Aquí está. Es lo último que está en el cartelito este. Y hablábamos de que es cuando vamos a comparar dos cosas, dos animales, dos personas. Comparación entre dos. Si son más o estamos entre un grupo, vamos a hacer un superlative. El superlative este, se agrega EST. El artículo D y luego EST. Por ejemplo, cold va a ser the coldest. January is often the coldest winter month. Okay, son 12 meses, pero de esos 12, el más frío es enero, de acuerdo a la oración. Estamos comparando entre un grupo de meses, no solo de dos, sino que de los 12. Eh, nice, ok. Como nice termina en E, ya no le vamos a agregar otra EST, sino que solo la ST, como dice aquí. She's not the nicest person I know. Now, si son de dos o más sílabas, se le va a agregar el artículo de al principio y luego must. Y ya luego el adjetivo tal cual. Por ejemplo, boring. The most boring. Y continuamos. It's the most boring movie at the cinema. Expensive. Va a cambiar the most expensive. We ate at the most expensive restaurant in town. Now, adjectives with two syllables that end in Y. Is right. Si terminan en Y, vamos a cambiar la polilatina y agregar EST. Early, the earliest. Happy, the happiest. Um, y lo mismo, si terminan en vocal y consonante y es con stress, double the final letter before adding D e S T. Big, the biggest. Y duplicamos. Y luego también tenemos los irregulares. Good cambia a the best. Si es un superlative. Bad cambia a the worst. Far cambia a the farthest or the furthest. Significa lo mismo. Questions? Una pregunta, teacher. Um, <clears throat> cuando uno le pregunta, uh, how do you feel? Yo he oído que dicen, ah, oh, de alguien que estuvo enfermo y le preguntan el siguiente día, por ejemplo, how do you feel today? I feel better. Y veo ahí de que en los comparativos el better tiene que ir con Dan. Es una, una respuesta incorrecta. No, el Dan en algunos casos se puede omitir. Uh -huh. O en la respuesta podría ser I feel good. Or so good. No, o sea, sí puede decir me siento bien, I feel good. Pero ah. si digamos que usted me ha visto mal y Ajá. ayer estaba hecha pedazos Ajá. y me pregunta ahora cómo estás. Y yo le puedo Ajá. decir Uh, puedo decirle I feel good o puedo decirle uh, better than yesterday, yesterday. Ah, mejor sí. que ayer o ah, simplemente okay. le puedo decir ah, I feel better thank you for asking and that's ah, it okay, okay, uh -huh. okay. el dan eh, en, en algunos se puede eh, omitir tenía esa duda <risas> igual si es pregunta a veces eh, cuando va de último el, el comparative uh -huh. Uh -huh. eh, no se pone el dan. Ok, yes, I remember. Yes. Uh -huh. okay. Muy bien. Thank Teacher, you. Y por ejemplo, el happy, estoy viendo que dice it's what. Se me puso otra pantalla. Es que parece que me <risa> No, ya no lo cambiar. Eso. Estamos con el Pero... intermedio dope. A dispense. Hoy sí pre-intermedio. <risa> <risa> Pero... Ya, ahorita, <risa> perdón. <risa> 
Ok. No, no se preocupe. A reprender que está. <risa> ok. Don't Ajá. worry. Estoy viendo que eh, dice, it was the happiest time of my life. Pero ahí podemos utilizar solo, it was the happy time. Se podría decir también así, si no ocupar este, el, el EST, solo como, it was the happy time, time of my life. O siempre happy. Eh, si lo deja así, está como, eh, sí se puede, es válido. Nada más que está, es como decirlo de una forma simple. Ajá, fue un tiempo feliz de mi vida. De pero no forma es correcta. Sí, sí, depende mm, de lo okay. que usted quiera expresar. Si simplemente quiere expresar que fue un tiempo feliz, that's okay. That was a happy, a happy time in my life. Fue un tiempo feliz. Pero si yo quiero decir, ah, ha sido el, el mejor, más. lo más mm -hmm. feliz, the happiest. Ajá, nada lo supera. Entonces yeah. ya es como estoy dándole un superlativo, un realce ahí. Y ya si lo digo, ah, it was a happy time in my life. Esta When the girl got married, teacher, for example. <laughs> the happy times of my, your life. When the girl got married, yeah. Y, yeah, in that moment, yeah. <laughs> After no. <laughs> It's the moment. In that moment, yeah. It's yeah, a fake know. wedding. It's a fake yeah, wedding. No quiero. Uh, okay, just kidding, okay. just having fun. <laughs> With this example, I, I, I have a clear. <laughs> okay. Yes, for example, I can say, Ah, in 2016, I had a very, um, a very good job. It was very well paid. It was a happy time in my life. Estoy diciendo que en el 2016 fue un tiempo feliz en mi vida, pero no ha sido el más feliz. I can say the, the happiest moment in my life is um, when I get birth to my children. Mm -hmm. Los mm -hmm. momentos más felices, el nacimiento de mis hijos. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Eso nada okay. supera eso. Es como ya dándole un superlativo. Pero yo puedo decir, it was a happy time in my life. Lo estoy diciendo en forma simple. Si ambas son correctas, depende de lo que queramos expresar. Mm -hmm. Y así con todos los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Sí, ahora sí, con, si queremos comparar, si yo quiero comparar el 2020 con el 21, Which one was happier? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that 2021 yes. is happier than 2020. Estamos yeah. comparando nada yes. más dos años. ¿Cuál ha sido el mejor? Si ponemos esos dos, ¿verdad? 2020 mm -hmm. or 2021? I guess for all, 2021, it's happier than the 2020. Okay. Yeah. Eh, Thank some, you. Somehow, right? <laughs> De alguna forma, <laughs> buscando <Yeah>. el lado. <laughs> okay. Um, any other question? Examencillo, entonces. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I added this. Vamos, so, so we can discuss here what are the answers. Um, would you rather do it um, alone or would you like to discuss this in group? Ahí pueden levantar la mano, no es evaluado, solo es para ver de qué se acuerdan. <laughs> Will you do it individual? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to complete and you can see, uh, you can use your notebook and just write the answers. Like for example, number one, I'm going to read Mount Everest is mountain in the world. So, the tallest. The tallest. Letter the C. Tallest. So you think number one answer, letter C. Entonces escriben en su cuaderno one C. Porque no escriban todo eso. Uh, just read, analyze, and think what would be the best option to complete that sentence or question in some cases. Les voy a dar tiempo para que vayan analizando y escribiendo ahí sus respuestas. Just numbering the letter and that's it.
two, three, was. I think Alice, I think Karen, I think it was Alicia is the she's mother.
finish, teacher. Has everybody finished or you need more time? More time, teacher, please. Okay, I'll give you two minutes more. Okay, let's check your answers. Okay, and you can check. So as we said for number one, it was letter C, that's correct. Number two, the answer, it was letter A. Number three, letter A. Number four, letter B. Number five, letter C. Number six, letter B, seven, B. 8A, 9A, 10C, 11C, 12B, 13C, 14A, 15B, and 16B. If you got from 15 to 16 correct answers, that was excellent. 13 to 14 is good. 20 or less, we need to study more and practice more. <laughs> Was it easy or difficult? Easy. Easy. Okay, good. Now, uh, we have the video about comparison with adjectives. So let me get ready with that video and share that with you. I had to close all the, uh, the things that I have opened. So I'm going to open again the platform. Oh, okay. Ay, no quiere responder, que ya no lo vamos a ver. <ríe> Se ha quedado mal. God, please. Yeah, ok. Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh, 
Okay, here we got the video. I think we can share some. Hello and welcome back. Remember there are different types of adjectives? That's right. We have short adjectives, long adjectives, and irregular adjectives. With that in mind, now we'll study the superlative of adjectives. Please stay around and pay attention to the explanation as well as the audio program. Comparisons with adjectives. Which country is larger, Canada or China? Canada is larger than China. Which city has the largest population, Tokyo, Mexico City, or Sao Paulo? Tokyo has the largest population of the three. What is the most beautiful mountain in the world? I think Mount Fuji is the most beautiful. Adjective, comparative, superlative. Long, longer, the longest. Dry, drier, the driest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Famous, more famous, the most famous. Beautiful, more beautiful, the most beautiful. Good, better, the best. Bad, worse, the worst. Let's review comparative adjectives. We use the comparative adjectives to compare two people, places, or things. They are used in sentences where two nouns are compared in this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus than plus noun or object. Let's not forget what happens with short, long, and irregular adjectives. Study this chart and take notes as you do so. Take a look at these examples. They are applying the rules. My house is bigger than her house. His room is tidier than her room. The red car is more expensive than the blue one. Ready to learn about superlative adjectives? Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of a quality. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Follow this pattern. Noun or subject plus verb plus the, plus superlative adjective, plus noun or object. Study the chart. Just as comparative adjectives in superlative form, we also have short, long, and irregular adjectives, which you need to take into account when using them. Examples? He is the tallest of his family. Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. Canada is the biggest country in North America. Can you write one sentence using good in its comparative form? Now write another sentence using good in its superlative form. Write both sentences in our discussion box. Okay, this is the chart that was presented in the video. And also the how to build sentences using comparatives and superlatives. Do you have any question about that? Uh, teacher, the, the, la primera oración, como usted me lo explicaba, cuando es una pregunta, si omite el dan, como is larger, omit dan. En ese caso. Yes, uh -huh. which, which country is larger, Canada or China? So, en la pregunta se está omitiendo el dan, it's not mm -hmm. necessary. En la respuesta, sí. Sí, ahí Canada o, is larger obligatoriamente. Than China. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Good. Any other question or comment? Okay, so if there are no more questions. We can complete the, uh, these questions from one to four with comparatives and question five to eight with superlatives. 
So, de la 1 a la 4 van a estar haciendo los comparatives. And from 5 to 8, you can um, answer with superlatives. Okay? Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay, volunteer to read the number one. Smaller. Okay, so that would be which country is smaller, Monaco or Vatican City? Good, thank you so much. Number two, volunteer. Which waterfall is higher? Niagara Falls or Victoria Falls? Excellent. Thank you so much. Number three, volunteer. Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, Walter. Which city is the is the sorry? It's more is is more crowded. Hong Kong or Cairo or Cairo. Very good. Good job. Thank How you. do you pronounce crowded or crowded? Is crowded. Okay. Now, number four. Volunteer. Volunteer for number four. Which uh, lake is light larger? The Caspian Sea or Lake of Lake Superior. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much, David. Number five, volunteer. Teacher, excuse me. What is the four? Cataratas. No, large, large, larger. Larger es la más larga. Uh -huh. Ajá. Larger, uh -huh. esa es. Ajá, uh -huh. la más larga. Uh -huh. Gracias. Okay, uh, number five, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, Glenda. Which is the highest most, mount, mount? The most highest mount. No, the high, highest. Mount Acon, Aconcagua? Mount Everest or Mount Fuji? Okay, thank you so much. Excellent. Now, number six. Volunteer for Which number six. Left? Yes, thank you. What is longest river, river in the world? The Mekong, the Nile, or the Amazon. 
Okay, the longest river in the world. Very good, good job. Thank you so much. Um, number seven, please. Me? Which, city, which city is the most expensive? London, Tokyo, or Moscow? Okay, very good, excellent. Number eight, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay. What is the driest ocean in the world? The, Paci the Pacific, the Atlantic, or the Arctic? Okay, very good, the deepest. Uh huh. Very good. Now, let's move to the next slide. Okay, uh, we have questions of choice and pronunciation. So um, we're going to notice how the intonation in questions, choice drops, then rises and then drops. So it goes yeah. like that. So we're going to listen to the audio and then we're going to practice and discuss. Sure, can. Okay. Hi, in this class we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? What Which country is, is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? <laughs> Okay, so as you can see uh, in the, when we are asking questions of choice, the intonation in the adjective, as you see, is like falling. Yeah, in the adjective, it falls. And then in the choices, it increases. And in the last one, decrease. So as you see, adjective decrease and the choices, they increase. And in the last choice, it decreases. Which city is more crowded, Hong Kong or Cairo? Okay, now in the second example, she, the adjective is expensive and in the adjective it falls, the intonation falls. And then we have the choices, London, Tokyo, and in the last choice, the intonation decreases, Moscow, right? Which is the most expensive, London, Tokyo, or Moscow, right? Esa es básicamente la idea de cuando estamos haciendo preguntas en las cuales estamos dando opciones a elegir. En el adjetivo, la entonación baja cuando mencionamos el adjetivo. Luego en las elecciones sube, Dependiendo cuántas sean, aquí solo son dos, entonces en esta sube y en la última baja. Aquí son tres opciones, en las primeras dos sube y en la última baja. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta con respecto a eso. Aquí tienen un par de ejercicios más. Ok, we should search this figure. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dibujaríamos aquí en el adjective? Para hacia, hacia abajo. Hacia abajo. Which dessert is bigger? ¿Y aquí? Hacia arriba. Hacia Igual. arriba. ¿Y aquí? Down. Abajo. Hacia abajo. 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 Ok. So nos quedaría which dessert is bigger? The Goiby or the, the Sahara? The Goiby or the Sahara. Uh -huh. Now veamos esta. Which city is higher? ¿Cómo iría aquí en higher? Abajo. Down. Abajo. Denver. Arriba. Arriba, la entonación. Y In New Orleans. Abajo. Abajo. Ok, very good. Now, veamos esta. Which ocean is the smallest? 
¿Cómo iría aquí abajo. en el smallest? Abajo. Abajo, ok. The Arctic. Arriba. Arriba. The Indian. Arriba. Arriba, ok. El abajo. The Atlantic. Abajo. Ok, veo que sí entendieron la idea de cómo va la pronunciación en las preguntas de elección. Y pueden seguir practicando eh, pronunciación con esto. Pueden incluso hacer los dibujitos y luego practicar, repetir, practicar, repetir. Uh, whenever you have time. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de esto? ¿Questions? ¿No questions? No, no, question. no question. Everything okay. Okay, good. So let's move. All right. Uh, then we have a conversation about distance and measurement. So we're going to listen to the conversation on the platform and then we're going to uh, practice in groups. Let me. <clears throat> Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Did you get it? That's right. They're talking about distance and measurements using the question word how. Okay, so here we have the conversation. Do you have any question before I create the section group so you can practice? 3,800 meters, is correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I, have, I have a problem with, with uh, cantidades. Uh, yes, it, it requires a lot of practice. Yeah. Yeah, so with the thousand and hundreds and yeah. all those things, yes. Yeah, let me share it again. I'm going to start audio program so we can practice a little bit more on pronunciation before I create the section group. Yes, let me get ready here. It's taking more than usual. I think that. We can go ahead and practice more here. Yes, let's see. The biggest and the best. Uh, okay, uh, okay, here we have the conversation. We are going to practice um, in a single group before going to the sections. Uh, let me share the screen again. Okay, can you see that screen? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play the recording and then I'm going to stop whenever that, that in every interaction so that you can repeat at home. Okay. Page 95, exercise nine, conversation. Distances and measurements. Part A, listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? I'm, I'm going, going to Australia, to Australia next, year. next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Are you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Actually, Actually I'm, from I'm, New from Zealand. Zealand. I'm from New Zealand. New Zealand. Actually, I'm from oh, New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? 
Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Didn't so know what's it like there? Like what's there? Like there? Like there? Like there? Oh, oh it's beautiful. So what's it there like are there? lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. There are lots of farms. It's very mountainous. It's very mountainous. Mountainous is correct. It's very mountainous. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Really? How high are the mountains? Really? really? How high are the mountains? How high are the Well, the highest one the is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Well, the well, highest one is, one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Wow! So how far is New Zealand from Australia? Wow. wow. So how, how far is, is New Zealand, Zealand from Australia? Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, I well, live I in Auckland. Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Maybe I should visit you next year, too. Maybe, Maybe I, should I should visit the next year, 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 too. Okay, good. So, um, questions? Teacher, you want? Uh, yes? The pronoun uh, is mountain or mountain? Así como la segunda, mountain. Second, wow. ah, mountain. Okay. Uh -huh, mountain. Okay. Mountain. Uh -huh, mountain. Okay. Mountain. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Mountain. Como cuando trago grueso. Mountain. Ah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Mountain. mountain. Yes. So I'm going to play it one more time. Lo voy a poner una vez más para que practiquen sobre todo estas palabritas que se nos hacen un poco inusuales. So we can practice more. And then I'm going to create the section groups. Let's go again. Page 95, exercise nine, conversation. Distances and measurements. Part A, listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? I'm going, I'm going to Australia, to Australia next, next year. year. Aren't you from Australia, 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 Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Actually, Actually I'm, I'm from, from New, Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, I didn't know that. What's it like there? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like oh, that. it's beautiful. There are lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Oh, oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. There are a lot of mountains. Very mountains. Really? How high are the mountains? Really? really? How, high are, the How high are the mountains? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Well, well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 1,800 meters high. Wow. So how far is New Zealand from Australia? Wow. wow. So wow. how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, I live in Auckland. I live in Auckland. It's about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Auckland for from Sydney. Maybe I should visit you next year, too. Maybe, Maybe I, I should visit you next year, too. Okay. Teacher. Yes. En la primera oración yo no escucho aren't. Ah. No sé, aren't no es como, pero no escucho aren't. Aren't. Ajá, es por lo mismo que la pronunciación no es aren't, así como aren't. 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 Like short, yeah, aren't. Ah, ok. Aren't. Ok. Teacher, the pronunciation is mountain. Mountain. Yes, mountain. Mountain. 
Let's create the groups. Uh, Mountain. No, oh, it's beautiful. They are lot of far and it's very mount. Really? How high are the mountain? Continue. Hello. Continue, man. But well, the the highness a one is monk could eat about three thousand a a hundred meter height. Wow! So how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well. I live in a clown, and a clown is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Maybe I should visit you next year, too. Sorry, no había encendido el micrófono. Okay, voy con... Con Ana? Okay. I am going to Australia, Miss Jure. I am no from Australia, Beth. Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's like there? Oh, it's beautiful. There are lots of farms and it's very mountain. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Wow, so how far, far is the New Zealand from Austria? Uh, well, I live in Auckland and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from, from Sydney. Maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay. Oye, mi, Scott, oye, mi, Scott, eh, ¿quién me ayuda? Yo, dale. Okay, okay dale. Uh, I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia, Beth? 
Actually, I am from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is like there? Oh, it's beautiful. There are lots of farms and it's very mountain. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. How? Wow. So how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in, 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 I live in Oakland. And Oakland is about 2,000 kilometers from Disney. Maybe I should visit to next year too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Nice twister, teacher. I said like a tongue twister. Tongue twister, yes. About numbers for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the good thing is that you identify that you need to practice more on that and I'm sure that you're going to do so. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you know, teacher, some tongue twister? I know some, yes. I have a couple of favorite ones. They are good to practice. What about you? Can Do you, you have tell, any favorite? Tell us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. That is one that I really like. This one. It's very funny. I'm going to send it to you and you will record it <laughs> and send the recording to the group. Okay. Now, you can just practice it. It's, um, my. Mm. Let me practice and I'm going to tell that to you tomorrow. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, teacher. Come on. Tell us now. Um, okay, I'll try to do my best. It's been a long time I'm not practicing tongue twister. I used to do that when I was um, in the academy. Yeah. So I like this one. It says, I wish to wish the wish you wish to wish, but if you wish to wish the witch wishes, I won't wish the wish you wish to wish. Oh my God, <laughs> clap for <laughs> you, teacher. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that was yeah. my favorite. Oh my God. <laughs> Over time, teacher. Change his queen. Yeah. And here we go. <laughs> Like, when yeah. when I when I learn oh. some tongue twister, uh, how to a uh, uh, develop to pronounce some words, teacher. Yes, because yes, this one has wish, que es deseo, wish. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, it tiene witch, witch, uh -huh. que witch. es la bruja. Exactly. Wish <laughs> want wish the wish you wish to wish. So it's wish and witch. Wish, well, wish. well, sound wish. same, teacher. Wish, which it's yeah, this very similar. Wish, yeah. which, wish, with s, 
Ajá. En which, wish, with, with she. Wish, which. El, el, el de la bruja es como más corto y también lleva la T. Which. 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 Ajá. Which. Yeah. Vamos a hacer uno por día hasta que se nos termine el curso. Go ahead, Ricardo. Go ahead, Ricardo. Yeah, Ricardo, nos va a dar uno mañana. El inventor, ¿verdad? Okay, it was nice to share with you. So, see you tomorrow with more practice and more tongue twisters. Tomorrow, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.